Tuesday evening everybody I just wanted to do a short video and uh, tell you that Tracy checked in with us and I'll share with you what she had to say right after this I wanted to show you how my day went today and I wanted to advise you guys I have nothing against Buicks Buicks are fantastic vehicles but a rendezvous is not one of them today I had to remove the strut as you can see the spring is broke there and there and it is a SOB to get the three nuts out back up underneath there so far we've had this since December 2019 had to change the fuel pump both of the wheel bearings each one on each side here front, front rotors and pads which obviously is maintenance but it needed it right after we got it it's rusted out a brake line. It's rusted out a power steering line. The water pump took a dump. I had to change the belt. And it's just been... And then the window, last Thursday, I believe it was, the window quit working on this side. So I had to order the regulator, which is nothing more than the motor and track assembly, and put that in. Thankfully, that was really easy to change. So this thing is just a money pit. I would never buy another one. But here's what Tracy had to say. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh wait, I wanted to show you our firewood stockpile. We're doing really good on accumulating firewood for sure. And I still have that other down tree over there next door. Plus a few more of those large pieces to split up. But I'm going to have to have some help. I can't physically do all this by myself anymore. But fortunately we have that splitter. That splitter. And Chuck across the road has got a splitter. And he's willing to help. And my, like I said, Paul's moving up here in October. So, and Carl should be 100% healed up by then. So we'll get her done. Hey guys, I forgot to mention I got permission to go check out another piece of property about four miles north of us, which would be that way. Also, I wanted to tell you that there had been a cougar slash mountain lion sighting about three miles that way. Didn't get an exact location, but it was on 20 mile road. We're just off a 19 mile road, so a little over a mile to the next road somewhere east of us well the property we're going to is only two miles north of 20 mile road where the cougar was sighted so and it was sighted on the north side of the road which is where we're going north I didn't tell Carl that Carl's going with me on this walk of course Carl's concerned about bears again but I'm not gonna tell him about the mountain lion thing until we get there. You guys will see that soon. Hey guys. Miss you guys. How's everybody doing? This is my view from the back deck. Note the the lovely fountain behind me. Nice little pond out there, but of course it's fake. It's a fake pond. Fountains and ponds are nice and everything, but I would still really, really rather be listening to my river. The heat's broken today, so it's not too bad. The humidity's definitely down, even from what it was yesterday, because heat in the city is not like heat where we are. Heat in the city is heat. It's bad. There's no escaping it either. But yeah, my sister and brother-in-law have graciously opened their doors to me so that I could get, had some place to stay while I was down here. I got my own little, kind of like a little mini hotel area. It's up the stairs and have a nice little bedroom and bathroom all to myself on the separate floor. So it's pretty spiffy. I still rather be home. Feels very strange to be sitting around here doing nothing so used to working every day except Sunday and 
I just feel fidgety because I feel like I need to be doing things, but at any rate, the guys at work were very, very kind to me, even though we're coming up on a holiday weekend and I feel horrible about abandoning them to do everything themselves, but you know, gotta do what I gotta do, so had a great ride down here with my my friend of 45 years, Laura, and we went to dinner after we got down here, and I got to catch up with some old friends. Finally got to meet her daughter, who is now a senior in high school. And uh, so, yeah, everything's, everything's going okay, but I know I'm going to be completely insane by the time I get home on Thursday. I... I need my peace and quiet, and I need my, I need my own bed, and I need my animals. There's no animals here. It's kind of depressing, but, so, uh, I'll keep in touch, and you guys take care of Mike for me till I get home, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah, guys, so we were just sitting there watching a movie, and just a random hot air balloon floating by over there I'll get it when it's more over here too so you can see it be back in a minute hey guys so we were just sitting there watching TV and happened to catch out the window just um random hot air balloon just floating by the neighborhood. There's something you don't see every day. It's really low. I mean, it's probably literally only a hundred feet up, but it's kind of weird. So that's kind of nifty. The sunset looks kind of cool over here. I don't know if you can see the rays coming through, but Yeah, so, there's my entertainment for the evening. Have a good one. We'll be back later.